Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is lovely to see you today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I thrifted in January, so grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. <laughs> I'll be honest though, <laughs> I'll be honest, this is a thrift haul of things that I didn't actually thrift in January. I got them yesterday which was the 1st of February so I'm slightly lying but I wanted to share this haul with you anyway so I hope it's okay. Um, I did thrift this beautiful dress, I'll pop a picture here, which is a 1980s Marks and Spencers dress from eBay. I got that in January though, does that count? But yeah, you know I love sharing my thrift hauls with you and I've got some books, I've got DVDs, I've got vintage sewing patterns and clothing, of course, I've always got clothing. But yeah, I, I got a lot. So I can't wait to share them with you. But remember, if you're new here, you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Butterfly family. We would absolutely love to have you. So don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. And don't forget to go and check out my Ko-fi and Patreon, where for just £2 a month, you can help me keep this channel and my blog going. And thank you so much to Ravin, who's my first Patreon supporter. Your support means the world to me. So thank you so, so much. And don't forget, if you're unable, to pay you haven't got the money that's okay a like a comment and a subscribe is more than enough but let's get to the good stuff shall we I've hurt my wrist this morning uh, I, ha I do have EDS and that makes my joints unstable and this morning I flicked my hair and hurt my wrist yes it's great I think we'll start with the clothing. We'll start with the clothing. And I've got some really nice pieces. So this first piece is a beautiful dress. So it's like kind of a fake wrap. And it's this beautiful like crocheted with like a peachy colour underneath. Like skin colour I suppose. And then it's just a really swirly, swirly, pretty skirt. I love dresses like this. They're really nice to wear if you're going out, but also, I'll be honest, I wear things like this on the daily. This was £7. It's originally by M & Co. I don't know who M & Co are, but I got it for £7. It's just a really nice... I love dresses like this. They always look really nice on. Very easy to style, very easy to look nice, and very comfortable to wear. Bonus. The next thing I got was a, I think in America you call them sweater vests but it's like a knitted waistcoat in like a beige colour this I think is called lady player but this is a golfing top this was three pounds but I thought what a cute little item gives it that vintage look and will keep you a bit warm perfect for three pounds you cannot sniff at that perfect Next up is a dress that really made me think of like the 20s, 30s kind of vibe and it's this kind of satiny material but it's a black dress with like peach and white and little puffy sleeves and then it's got this little bow detail on the front and then the back it's just two little buttons. It goes up into like this kind of... I know a princess seam goes down. Is this a prince seam? I don't know. And it's got... It's quite long, straight skirt. This really reminds me of that time. It's Marks and Spencers. But does that look like an old label to you? I don't know if this is actual vintage, this dress. But it was £10.50 to me. And I think it's just really beautiful. I cannot wait to wear that. It'd be the perfect thing for, like history bounding which I love doing as you know. The next dress is very 1960s like and it was £3.99. It's just very much 1960s like this front bit with the detailing on the sides very 1960s. It comes down a bit long to be an actual 1960s but I just love it. I'm not a big fan of like mini skirts anyway so it's very much more me. This was originally papaya occasional wear and I think papaya is that Matalan? I think it's Matalan but this was £3.99 and probably was like somebody wore to a wedding and then just got rid of it so yeah Matalan can be expensive they're occasion wear and they're you know they're 
some of their stuff is quite expensive so who knows but i saw it and i really liked it usually my mom hates any kind of bright colors but she said this was my favorite her favorite piece that i thrifted so that impressed me i was like oh get you getting into the colors so i really like that and I'm always on the lookout for knitwear. I thrift a lot of my knitwear. And I saw this grey cardigan and thought it was so pretty because it has this beautiful, like, sparkly detail around the neck. It's just so pretty and it has little sparkly gem buttons. I love that. This is originally Primark and it was £3 to me. But it's just like a little grey cardigan. So pretty as a layering item, especially as we move into spring. It's so easy to just throw a cardigan on over a dress like I have today if I take this off. You'll be able to see my 1980s dress so much better because it's so beautiful. Oh my dudes. Look at the sleeves and it's got like pin tucks along the front oh it's just i love this anyway <laughs> then i got this it's like a fake twin set so it's a fake jumper underneath and so it's a fake jumper and cardigan but i saw the cardigan detail and i just thought how beautiful is that with all the flowers so nice you could wear it with such a pretty skirt this is originally by pure and natural and i think it is actual you know real wool so it's probably quite expensive but i got it for four pounds four pounds for that and i'll probably get a lot of wear out of it because i love these like twin sets are really easy to style with a skirt and look really vintage and really cute and i like the pattern on it it's very like cottage core whimsical which is right in my fashion wheelhouse i find myself moving into that area a lot more as i move forward in my style journey and then we got my monthly monsoon piece whoever it is in my town who goes through and gets rid of monsoon regularly i love you there's the monsoon this was three pounds because i don't think they know what they have this was got from the same place that i got the moschino jacket for five pound which is worth like nearly 700 pounds and i was like thank you i think i'll have that so yeah three pounds for monsoon it's just a little slightly peplum which would be nice for the circle skirt in the spring nice little spring cardigan there for you from monsoon you know i love me monsoon i do i do next up my mom called this a uh, christmas jumper because it's sparkly and in my mom's mind it's the only time you're allowed to wear uh, anything remotely sparkly but this is a jumper and it's quite a short jumper but it's extremely sparkly and then it's got really nice little sleeves they've got a bit of poof to them and then at the back it's just a little gap and then a little bow i love things like this they're just so easy to style and they're they're not too thick they're not too heavy they're just really nice tops to wear look at the spangle you know i love me some spangle this again was three pounds and it's by somebody called alpha studio I don't know who that is but I like the jumper this is going to be worn quite a lot I can imagine because I just love stuff like that and then I got this skirt this is corduroy and I'm a huge corduroy fan but it's black corduroy a bit like um pair of jeans or something but then it flares out into this beautiful skirt with the details look at it oh it's so cute look at that I had to get it this is this again was three pounds can you believe it and this is by kit the label just says kit 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 i don't know who that is but i so i couldn't leave this behind it's very like 1980s 90s and i love it i could i would wear this with the spangly jumper and be so happy watch out in future because that's probably how i'll style it love that and then the last piece of clothing was just a simple jumper but it's in this lovely like terracotta orange very cozy this was four pounds i love just basic jumpers like this they're very easy to style they're by that's by a cow again no idea who is this we don't know i don't care because it's mine now <laughs> but yeah i love a cozy jumper especially as we get into like february and march which traditionally 
I like the coldest months. We always get like surprise snow and things like that this time of year. That's it for the clothing. Let's move on to DVDs and books. And yes, I did buy DVDs because I'm an old lady. So I had to get this though. This is all of the seasons of Downton Abbey for £10. They came in this bag all together, £10 for every season now i only need to get the movies and i have the whole collection downton abbey is one of my favorite series i absolutely love it and so when i saw this for 10 pounds in the charity shop i was so happy so happy i just i grabbed it so quickly so it's every single series of downton abbey thank you to whoever collected all the seasons and then decided to get rid of them next up i got a ton of books this month i wasn't really looking for books but i always look out in the book section in that area and i got some goodies so the first one i got enhance your psychic powers this is by soraya i don't know who soraya is but working with hecate has really helped me want to work on my psychic abilities and open back up again as a child i was very sensitive and i could pick up on things a lot faster and easier like it terrified me so much that i shut everything down now i want to open back up again so we have this book i don't know how much these were it, there's no price on them it wasn't free though so i don't know how much that was probably not much pound something like that then i have a book on celtic mythology i do not work with celtic deities and i'm not irish or scottish but my ancestors were my mum's grandmother came from ireland she came from ireland to liverpool when she was a child and so when you're starting to work with ancestors you find yourself drawn to things that they worked with and the minute i saw this i was like i need to understand my celtic ancestors and this says the nature and influence of celtic myth from druidism to arthurian legend by ward rutherford and i'm just really excited to read that one then i got some spell books and this one is Spellcraft. It's amazing the things you can find. This was a pound. It's a hardback book by Anne-Marie Gallagher. Charm your way to success at home, work or school and in love, life and relationships with this 21st century guide to magic. I love getting spell books. I don't work with spell books, but reading them, you can get a lot of tips and ways of creating your own spells. You get to find like, oh, they use a lot of this herb or they use a lot of that and you know you pick things up so that's good this one is just called spells and this is by sasha fenton i do not have my glasses on and it's spells lets you discover charms and talismans that can enrich and enhance your life so working with talismans is something that i definitely want to work on in the future and so having a book like this that's specifically about charms and talismans very useful and then my husband who also has a youtube channel now i'll leave a link to it down below but he does local history and folklore around the midlands in england so if you're interested in that sort of thing and while he's talking about that he takes our dog for a walk or he goes and films like out in the countryside while he talks about it so we got some books for him this first one is called for a shilling a day by peter rhodes and this is basically people's stories the black country memories of warfare and he thought that would really help him get some more stories and things for his youtube channel also got around rugely which is a little town around here that's where i live so it's like historical photographs which is really cool and that was a pound i think the other book was a pound as well and then he got around rugely in photographs which again is little stories and photographs and just gives him somewhere to start researching and then he can do more on the area and then a couple of a few thrift hauls ago <laughs> About six months ago, I did get the first Downton Abbey book. And then this time I got the second one. It was like my little heart. I was like, yes, this was £1.99 for a big, I mean, it's bigger than my head, bigger than my head. And this is the second, The Chronicles of Downton Abbey. I love Downton Abbey. So I'm so excited to go through this and the other book together. Mm -hmm. 
it was a Downton Abbey kind of a thrift haul. And then the last thing I got was the Ultimate Encyclopedia of Spells and that is by Michael Johnstone. I don't know who these people are but again I just find it really useful looking through spell books. If I'm going to do a certain spell I'll look through my spell books and see if I can find anything. I'll look on YouTube. Has anybody done a spell like this? That sort of thing. And then from that I get my own spell together. So if I'm in a charity shop I always look in. They're usually in the like like self-improvement section or you know sections that have got like aromatherapy and yoga and stuff like that those sort of areas have a look because you can find witchcraft books and they don't know where to put them or they don't know what they are so yeah that was £1.50 not bad for again bigger than Mahid. Sticking with the witchcraft theme I did get another one of these rose bowls these are amazing because they're made for potpourri. This was probably quite expensive. Can you see the pattern on that? It's absolutely stunning. And I'm going to use this for a spell for my living room, our living room. This was $3.99 and I can fill this up with herbs and things and just make a re really nice potpourri, but it'll be like a witchcraft spell as well. Uh, I'm really excited. If you want to see me do that, let me know and I can record it and post it in the future. But yeah, little, it's cute, isn't it? I like that. My brain's not working today. Lastly, we have some vintage, I want to say recipe. No, sewing patterns. Oh, brain fog, leave me be. Okay, so I went into the shop and usually they have like a little box with patterns in and I go through it. This time that it wasn't there and I was like, oh, where is it? And then I looked down, it was on the floor and it was like three times the size. It was massive. So the woman let me like pick it up and put it on the side and I literally went through the whole thing. There were so many. So I got quite a few patterns. So the first one is this. This is Simplicity K9136. This isn't vintage, obviously, but this sort of dress is perfect for the summer. And if I can get like something, some material that looks really cute like this, it makes like a really pretty dress. It's very 1980s kind of styling. I don't know if you can see, and I love big pockets like this that are just on the front that you can just throw your phone and stuff in. So yes, perfect dress there. Then I got this. Oh, look at those 80s patterns. This is McCall's 7753. And look at all these different skirts that you can make. I love skirts like this from the 1980s. They're very easy to style, but I'm really excited to have all these skirts to be able to make hell yeah and then this from 1961 it's a skirt and a little jacket so cute it's very thin though so i don't know if all of the pattern is inside but i couldn't leave this behind it's so sweet and because it's from there's only six pieces in here so it, it might all be there i don't know i'm not sure but it looks like it would be a really cute little suit to make and then we have a reproduction of a 1960s dress. This is Simplicity. Did I say what the last one was? I don't even know. It just says Woman W417. This is Simplicity 1609. And I've had this in my wish list because I love this with the little collar. I love this one. They're just very sweet little 1960s dresses. And they're good for if you just want to play around it is a remake that's the original one so all i can say is i'm sorry stephanie canada i apologize but um i hope you'll forgive me for buying this reproduction the next one is a 1980s pattern this is easy mccall's 7104 there's four different dresses that you can make and oh don't they look so beautiful like oh yes that is just so me these are so me I love 80s dresses I love the little collar and cuffs I love this I just oh yes so excited to try and make that one and then we have another 1980s pattern this is easy McCall's 4017 look at these dresses Oh, I don't like these two. 
but these three so I'm really really excited to attempt to make them and then we have a simple little pat pattern for a pinafore dress and this, I'm sure, is this one that um, Rachel Maxey made once? I'm not sure, but I saw it and it just made me think of Rachel Maxey. I love the little floof on the bottom. Very simple, easy to layer. I love it. This is Carefree Patterns from McCall's 4535. Four, and this is from Canada, Australia and South Africa. So I don't know how this has ended up in, in my little town, but thank you. I love it. And then the last one is this pattern here, again from the 80s. New look 6237. And I'm really excited because it's the two skirts, no, sorry, the skirt and the two tops. And this blouse looks, oh, both of these blouses are so a bit of me. I cannot wait until I am good enough at sewing to be able to do this sort of thing. But yeah, it's just kind of exciting to think that I'm getting these patterns and I am actually going to make them and yeah I'm excited so I do have sewing coming to the channel this month we are going to be making a pinafore dress but not one of these dresses it's a pinafore dress I've got everything ready for and I'm so excited to start doing that on Monday but yeah that's everything I got I got a lot and some of it was pretty uh, surprising like the Downton Abbey for £10 I didn't know that I would suddenly find a massive box full of vintage patterns like not a clue that would happen and yeah I just got some lovely pieces of clothing and I've just gone through my wardrobe and got rid of a load of things so now I've filled my wardrobe back up again it's an addiction I can't help myself I need some kind of patch or intervention. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed sharing all these treasures that I found. So let me know down below what your favourite thing was that I managed to get. Leave me a comment. Let me know all your thoughts and feelings on this haul because I think it was a pretty good haul. And I was only gone out for like two hours. I was absolutely exhausted afterwards. But oh my goodness, I was pleased with myself. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what thing you liked liked the best and yeah I lo always love chatting to you so let me know down in the comments and while you're down there leave me a cheeky little like so I know and YouTube knows that you enjoy this content and it will help me to grow this channel and to keep bringing this content to you and last but certainly not least if you like my content and you like my little face don't forget to head down below click that subscribe button ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. I always do my very best to be here with you every week, twice a week. Don't forget to stick around till the end. I have picked out a video and a playlist for you to enjoy. Have a magical, lovely week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.